For the past eight weeks, Women Arise PNG has been leading a movement to call for more action to end violence against women. But as the support for the movement grew, so were the killings and rape of innocent women and girls. This afternoon, the stakeholders led by Women Arise PNG decided on a nationwide house cry, a day dedicated to calling for more government action on the issue and to remember those women who have suffered or have lost their lives to violence of all forms. Coordinator Esther Ego called for a nationwide stop work demonstration from all women, girls and men around the country on the evening of 14th of May, right through to the 15th to honor this day. What's really saddens us is that the government, the Prime Minister and even the three minister women that we've got in Parliament have not come up and condemned publicly the actions of what's happening in, you know, in the country currently. They are not condemning. The perpetrators are not being, uh, are not being um, um, taken in by the police and charged or uh, prosecuted. Um, so we, because of all that background, women of Papua New Guinea, we feel unsafe. We feel very unsafe in our own country. And we want to rise up and ask the government to do something. We want to call the government to action. So what we're looking at doing on the 15th of May is we're, ca we're calling all Papua New Guineans to stand and rise with, with the women of Papua New Guinea for a national, nationwide um, stop work demonstration. An appropriate action on this issue is needed, says founder for PNG Against Domestic Violence, Lydia Kylip. She says the justice system serves the interest of the wealthy and not the poor majority house cry is very appropriate because we do mourn the loss of all of those women whose lives have unnecessarily been taken and who've left this world and there's been no recognition that their life was worth something, there's been no recognition that they, of the injustice <coughs> that was perpetrated against them. The issue of violence against women have been in existence since the 1980s and the government to date have not taken any decisive action. All these governments to date have failed the women of Papua New Guinea. Mm. They really have. So will the nation watch as our women come and go without a whisper? I watched as an entire community walked past this woman. I watched as mothers in their beautiful miri blouses looked down and then quickly looked away and kept on walking. I watched as men that were stronger and more muscular than that weakling of a man who was beating her looked at their brother and did nothing and did not intervene. And these were not people um, unacquainted with Jesus. These were religious people who are upstanding members of the community who worship in our churches and uh, talk about compassion and justice. But when it, we faced face to face with violence in our society, we do nothing. And we are not the good Samaritan that crosses the road. Or will we all rise up and say enough is enough? Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.